When his wife wasn't home, this dad decided to play with his sons in the most unconventional way, through epic two-against-one smackdowns. As their match began, their dad used all his energy to shove them away, playfully punish them by splashing their butts, or try to suplex them on their family bed. No matter what he did, his sons always kept coming at him, laughing out loud with confidence, as if they believed they could defeat their dad with sheer endurance. They're having so much fun. Look at <laughs> Look at <laughs> If you've ever had such a wonderful childhood memory, subscribe. There has never been a more wholesome video on the internet ever recorded ever. If you guys ever want to go down a dope link trail in order to continue to demonstrate the importance of fathers within a child's life, go down a link trail of the benefits of roughhousing. Studies show that it helps with brain health, academic performance, social skills, helping children to read others' emotions as well as control their own physical fitness, as well as toughness and resilience. This right here reminds me of my relationship with my pops when I was their age. But I think that roughhousing needs to be in the father curriculum of every father ever. The difference between men and women. I am fascinated by how different men and women are. Like when a girl's having a terrible day, there's a lot she has to do. She has to vent to someone for an hour. She has to yeah. cry about it. She has to exercise. She has to eat something that's comforting but won't bloat her. Men have to watch one motivational sports-related TikTok. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, let's get the f back out there. My guy tried to give me what he, he would need. Like, I'll be crying on the couch, like, Yo, it's so lie. true. It's cliche, but on my period, I think the dog is mad at me. And then he just starts pulling motivational Kobe Bryant quotes at me. I'm like, I'm sitting there with a he's like, the second you give in is the second someone else wins. Yeah. This is so true. This is why it is so damn funny. And the thing is, is like, I grew up single parent household. I didn't have any sisters. Within my relationships, I've had to learn how to be softer, right? Or how to be more patient with the way that women handle emotions and shit like that. It's nothing like how guys do. Egypt, why are you off the mat? Because I need to take a break. Why you need to take a break? Because my legs hurt. Mm, can you still run? Yes. Why are you crying? There's a reason for the tears. Because I'm slowing down. There we go. Does it make you feel bad? You're not ready to quit. Mm. You got more energy. It's the emotions that's making you want to quit. Mm. Control so this is the man. place to get all of this out. Tears release stress hormones. The saying big boys don't cry is a lie. Mm. Every man I know who doesn't cry, cries in other ways. Mm. Can't keep a job. Always on the edge, ready to fight someone. Mm. I want you to get focused. Look at me. And you're going to fight and push through this lap. Do you understand? Good. Get back on the map. Man, no Run! training. What do you do now when you're overwhelmed with your emotions and you want to quit? I push to them and I don't let them control me. Oh, good. This brother's name right here is Jason Wilson. Jason, shout out to you. He has videos like this all over his social media. I think one of the biggest issues between our young men today is the controlling of their emotions. One of the most dangerous things in our society is a man that cannot control his emotions. See, when you take the emotionality of women and you transpose that within a teenager or a young man, you get someone that flies off of the handles, but also has the body shape, the strength, the musculature, and comfortability of conflict of a man. Learning young how to deal with and to push through is a life lesson of absorbing your L and bouncing back. Just as Jason says, it comes out as tears right now, but it can come out in other ways. You must do difficult shit, learn from your losses, so it can make you stronger going into the future. We're just, I'm, we're pulling out right now. But, I know, you got uh, out of the car, what you wanna do, be afraid? Uh, excuse me, can we not do this? Hey, y'all, can we not do this? I know we don't. Can we not do we're this? Just talking like, I know. Yeah, we can talk like grown men. Can we not do that? No, that's I okay. know, but you got out the car I got out the car because I'm trying to feel your energy, man. You just pulled up. Man, you just came sir. there with your family. Sir, you right here on the street. We trying to come out too, sir. We leave you. I know, out, but man. come on, sir. There's not a car coming too. Man, God bless you, love man. You got I know. I'm calling up. you sir, right? That's respect, right? Did I disrespect you? That's love. See, that's what real men do. That's what real men do. See, trying to get to you know, That's what real men do. See, that's what real men do. Show these little young motherfuckers. Yeah, see that? We can change it.
My nigga. <laughs> Shout out to these two brothers for actually handling this situation and earning each other's respect. But you know what I picked up within this situation? Can I do this? We've been talking like I know. Yeah, we can talk like grown men. Can we not do that? No, that's I okay. know, but you, know, you got out no, the car. No, I, I got out the car. Ladies, many times, more often than not, inserting yourself in a conversation or a conflict like this between men is going to do nothing but instigate the situation. The last thing that a man needs is to hear your nagging voice. And please, if things do come to blows, do not come up behind me grabbing my shoulders, my elbows, or my hands, putting me in a position where I am less likely or less able to be able to defend defend myself. I've gone over videos on this channel of dudes getting knocked out because the dude's girlfriend was trying, no baby, no, don't get into a fight. <laughs> Put his hands down and the dude socked him. Do yourself and the dude you're in a relationship with and stay out of it. Happy that you were born a girl and not a stupid boy. Well, it's the stupid boys that invented your purse, invented your tank top, invented your jeans, invented the photograph, invented the- That looks like witchcraft. Actually, I'll give you that one. Invented your phone, internet, and app that you're using to post this sexist reel on to hate on the very people that built the world around you for your convenience. <laughs> Spend more time with your father. That's tough. Oh, this should be an Olympic sport, bro. Daughter has a double reaction to seeing dad after daycare. So pretty lady. For all the shit that I talk on this platform, it's awesome to see things like this. The impact of a father within a daughter's life cannot be understood. It cannot be overstated. This is her first true love, and you could tell that the father treats her like gold. And because of that, she is way more likely to go off and be an awesome human being. Shout out to all the fathers out there. Fatherhood matters. Discipline has to be set in the home from a male's perspective. Repeat that. I parent poorly and forget Mother's Day. And what he told you? Mm -hmm. What did he tell you that? This is this afternoon, this evening. He told you that you parent poorly. Yes. And to forget Mother's Day. Yep. He said that to you. Mm -hmm. No, he did. Ask him. Yes, I did. Truthfully, I did. You told your mother that she parents poorly and forget about Mother's Day? Why would you tell her that? Have you lost your mind? No. Why would you think that it's okay to speak to your mother like that? To tell your mother that she parents poorly and to forget about Mother's Day? How about we forget about Christmas? How about we forget about that? How about we forget about your birthday? What I like about this clip is that you could tell that the young boy is probably yeah, on his way to being a teenager. He's in that puberty stage. And instead of the mother going back and forth with the young boy, she defers to the father. I think that kids in general benefit enormously from a mother's nurturing when young. But as the child gets older, and especially in young boys, before they begin to exit puberty to understand the consequences of their actions and before they get in a state of their own ego, we're turning back having no consequences for your decisions is gonna be a lot harder to do. These are the formative years and if you don't form good decision making or respect for elders before this, then you're gonna have a problem on your hands. Hey.